I, I am sharing this with you so that you too will say to yourself, you know what? If she could do it, I can do it too. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pearl and this is Pearl's Journey. Today, I just want to share something with you guys. It's going to be a short video. Today, I am at Singing Sand Beach. It's a really beautiful beach. Um, I have been walking along this beach here, guys. And this is something I would not have done before. Now that I am on my recovery journey, it is so beautiful, y'all. It is such a beautiful thing. Guys, I am really leaving now i am not existing and i am so grateful i am so happy i'm such a different person um i'm able to do so many things that i was not able to do before i would never have walked along that beach there by myself i would i would have been so afraid to do that i never would have walked there by myself i just took grace and said let me go for a walk and it, it is new for me and I am loving it. I am enjoying it. I, I am sharing this with you so that you too will say to yourself, you know what? If she could do it, I can do it too. And I believe that you can do it. I never thought that this would be possible for me to do. Just take grace and go for a walk all by myself with grace alone i never would have done that because at the back of my mind i would think something bad would happen to me somebody would do me some harm somebody would hurt me somebody probably will take me and do something to me and grace as well so i never used to do it but i'm doing it i am taking my children now to the park just me and them this is not something that i would have done i never would have done that but now I am able to do it. Before, if my husband wasn't there with me, I wouldn't go. I would not take them to the park. I would wait until my husband gets home and then we would have gone to the park. But I am, I, I am doing it. We are, excuse my hair guys, excuse the way that I look. We are camping and we decided to come to the beach today. My hair is a mess. I just tied it and it's looking a mess. So I just put my hoodie on and we are here it's beautiful i would this is another thing too guys i would never have come to the beach with the people that i came with they're a lovely family but i would think that i'm not good enough to go with them my family is not good enough to go with them i used to put myself down so much thinking i was less because i felt damaged i felt like damaged good i felt i like i had no value my self-esteem was so low i mean i'm not where i would like to be yet but i'm definitely further than where i was and it has been amazing imagine i'm camping outside in the bush in a tent with my family i never would have done that but god has brought me so far from where i was and i'm just giving god thanks and praise and i'm sharing my story hoping that it will resonate with even if it's one person i'll be very happy hoping that it will help somebody to say i gotta put an end to that i am not gonna give nobody this kind of power over me take that power back take that power back you can do it and you deserve to be free you deserve to break that chain do not stay in that kind of bondage no more you can do it you are worthy you are valuable you deserve every good thing so do it comment in the comment section below let me know Tell, tell if you are able to if you are okay with it tell us a little bit about your story and tell us where you are today tell us what you're doing let's be a community where we help each other let us share i am so happy i'm not saying every day all day i am happy because this is real life 
sometimes things will stress you out but you, you don't stay there before I used to stay right there the stress used to be so bad it was affecting me physically not only emotionally and mentally but it was affecting me physically it was affecting me physically my belly used to hurt me all around my waist used to burn burn you would swear that I, I had swallowed some acid it was really bad but now I'm okay life will always have stress but I'm at a place now where I am able to deal with my stress in a different way, in a healthy way. And that is what I want for you. For you to be able to deal with your stress in a healthy way. It's all going to be alright. It will be alright. It may seem like it's never going to change. It's never going to happen for you. Of course it will. You have to make that change. You have to take that step. You can do it. I remember when I was still in my bondage, I remember saying, Lord, will I ever be happy? Will I ever be able to really enjoy life? I am today. And I want that for you. You, I want it for you. You can do it. Take the first step. What happened to you, it was not supposed to happen to you. But it has happened. What are you going to do about it? And I, I'm not saying that to be mean or harsh. This is what was asked of me. What are you going to do about it? And I felt, I felt, I felt angry when I was asked that. I felt bad. I was like, how dare you? Are you trying to minimize what happened to me? But no that person was not trying to minimize what happened to me that person was trying to help me help me realize yes it happened to you but are you going to stay there are you going to fight back are you going to do something about it and that is why i'm asking you what are you going to do about it fight for yourself you can do it nobody's coming to save you you have to help yourself. I had to do it for myself. When I realized nobody's coming to save me, I had to take the first step. And when I took the first step and said, I need help, people jumped in to help me. So I'm asking you, what are you going to do about it? Take the first step. Open up. Talk about it. I find that talking about it is, is therapy. It helps talk about it. Now I can talk about what happened to me and not get upset and cry and be angry because I have dealt with it. I remember when I used to say, forgive those who hurt me. And anytime something had, anytime something happened, I used to get so angry. Everything used to come right back. I never threw out the, the, the trash. Everything used to come right back. And I knew I had not fully forgiven. I knew I had not fully let it go. But now that I'm able to tell you, I was raped. I was abused. Now that I'm able to tell you how I was abused, what happened to me, and not be angry about it. Look at me. I have a smile on my face. Does that mean I'm okay with what they did to me? No. But I've reached to a place where, okay, that happened to me, but I've moved on. I am reclaiming my life. I am taking control of my life by the grace of God. I'm allowing God to lead me. There is more to me than that. And I'm not going to give these people the power that they had over me. Absolutely not. So that's what I came to tell you guys today. I just wanted to share that with you. And as I go along this journey, I'm gonna share with you guys because I think that it is important. And I'm hoping that it will at least touch somebody and help somebody realize I can do this. 
and that you can move on. So let that somebody be you today. Let that somebody be you. You can do it. <laughs> look at me, look at me. I never would have come in front of a camera looking like this, you guys. I never would. My self-esteem was so low. I never would have sat in front of a camera like this. But look at me sitting here. Look at my, my, my head. Look at my face. I'm happy with myself wherever I am. I am comfortable with myself. This is who I am. You can do it. Take the first step. Fight for yourself. Fight for yourself. Fight for your happiness. Fight for your health. You are probably suffering right now with pain from the anxiety, from the depression, from the stress. Nobody is worth that. If something were to happen to you, they wouldn't care. Care enough about you. That's the person you have to care about for now. Care enough about you today. Fight for you. And join me on this journey. You can do it. You've got this. If this video touches you, please give it a like. Comment in the comment section below. Tell us how you're doing if you have overcome your childhood abuse or whatever abuse that you have gone through whatever it is you've gone through share with us maybe your comment can help somebody else don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys and share with your friends share with family thank you so much for watching until next time take care of yourself i'll see you in the next video